In this video, we'll go over the process for drawing over blueprints to create a plan in Chief Architect. This can be done from scanned blueprint documents or PDF documents you have on your computer. In this video, we'll be using a PDF. First, we'll want to have the blueprint saved to our computer as a PDF or as an image file. If it is saved as a picture, like a JPEG or a PNG file, we'll want to go to the File menu, Import, and click Import Picture. If it's a PDF, instead go to Import PDF, and choose the PDF document we want to use. Since we've imported a PDF, it'll ask us what page we want to import. In our case, we only have a single page, so we'll leave it on one. But if you're importing a multi-page PDF with your floor plan on a different page, make sure to choose the correct one. Click OK, and we'll see the blueprint show up in our plan file. Select the drawing we've imported and click Open Object on the Edit Toolbar. If we click on the Line Style panel on the left side, we can modify the settings for the layer this drawing is on. As we can see, the PDF is already on the Picture PDF Boxes layer, as all imported PDFs and images are. Another important thing to note is the Drawing Group. Currently, it's on the Back Drawing Group, meaning in our floor plan, it will appear behind any other object on a higher level drawing group, signified by a lower number. This is what we want for an object we're going to be tracing over. Next, we'll use the point-to-point -point resize tool to rescale the imported PDF to match the plan file scale. First, select the blueprint, and on the Edit Toolbar, click on Point-to-Point -point Resize. Next, we need to find the start and end of some measured object in the PDF, like a wall with a length specified, or a dimension line. The line or object also needs to be exactly horizontal or vertical for this tool to work. After clicking on the tool, we'll see the letter A following our mouse. Do a single left click on the start point of our reference. Then, the letter B will appear following the mouse. Move your mouse horizontally or vertically, and do a single left click on the end point. Then, it will ask us for the distance. Erase what's already in there, and enter the length of whatever object you've dimensioned. Retain aspect ratio will also be checked by default. You want to leave this checked, or check this on if it's unchecked, since it will prevent our image from getting warped after resizing it this way. Click OK, and now, our imported floor plan should be to scale with the plan file itself. From here, we can start drawing walls. Go to the Build menu, Wall, and then Exterior Wall. From here, we can start clicking and dragging to draw our walls. The draw line of our wall tool is the exterior side of the framing of the wall, meaning that if we line our mouse up with where the exterior of the wall framing is on our blueprint, we can be more accurate. Don't worry about being exact here, though. Since we have dimensions for our walls, we can always come back and fix the lengths once we've gotten all the walls drawn. If you have a scan or a picture of a paper blueprint, your walls may not match the straight wall tools, but the dimensions should still end up working out. Once the exterior walls are all drawn, and the outline of the house is closed, let's draw some of the interior walls. We have a few doors, including a barn door and a swinging door here, so we can use the Door tool by going to the Build menu, then Door, to place them. We can use the plan to place other objects like windows and cabinets in the right spots, turning on the layer for the PDF when it's convenient, and hiding it when we don't need it. To adjust walls with dimensions, we first want to click on the wall we want to move, not the wall we want to resize. 
So if we click on a wall on the left of the building, we want to click on one of the dimension lines measuring a wall perpendicular to it that connects to the wall at the corner. Changing this dimension will move the wall to we selected, changing the length of the wall perpendicular to the wall it measures. And we can continue this process in each exterior wall until all our dimensions come out correct. It's recommended to work in a single direction during this process. To hide the layer, we can go to the Active Layer Display Options side window on the right of the program. If we don't see this side window, we can go to the View menu and toggle it on. From here, simply uncheck the layer in the Display column, or select the layer and uncheck the Display checkbox near the bottom. This concludes our video on the process of tracing over imported images in Chief.